something different about my surroundings? That's because I'm on vacation visiting my family for my birthday. And since I'm turning 23 and I already made a video about the number 13, I thought I'd make a video here about people's feelings about that number. On the outside, I'd compare the 23 thing to the 47 Society. The history of the 47 Society is that in 1964, at Pomona College, a professor named Donald Bentley created a felonious mathematical proof showing that all numbers equal 47. He did this to introduce his students to the idea of mathematical proofs and how they can be misused, but the students ran with it. The modern idea of the 47 Society is that all numbers have personalities, and the number 47 has a particularly playful personality, and will thus show up more often in a random series of numbers, like the digits of pi or in license plates. The 23 people believe there to be a significance to that number, however their belief tends to trend more towards the malicious. The original idea of the 23 enigma is that all things in the world relate directly to the number 23, or a permutation thereof. Again, this modern idea can, in part, be blamed on a man living in California. This time the man is Robert Anton Wilson. In his seminal work co-authored with Robert Shea, the Illuminatus Trilogy, the earlier 23 Enigma got associated with the Illuminati and other shadow organizations that were, in the book, running the whole world. This injected an evil connotation to the number into popular culture, but some people take this too far. The most notable example of thus is the 2007 Joel Schumacher, Jim Carrey film, The Number 23. Ignoring the fact that it's not a very good movie, and that it has the most failed plot to a psychological thriller ever, i.e. a man is being chased by a freaking number. Yeah, but that was interesting. Anyway. When it discusses the 23 enigma, the examples it uses just illustrates how silly the whole idea is. Like for instance, it starts off by showing tragic dates and how they relate to 23. For instance, the date that the Titanic sunk was April 15, 1912, or 4 15 1912. 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2 is 23. Chilling. Now let's prove the pattern. 9-11 occurred on 9-11-2001. 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 14? Wait... 9 plus 11 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 23! which really only proves Professor Bentley's point that you can do anything with numbers if you're willing to manipulate them and change the rules on a whim. But what I really don't get is the conspiracy side of this thing. If there was some sort of global conspiracy that ran the world, why would they leave a code in their stuff for anyone to see? Is it that they have severe OCD and can't help leaving this code behind to their nefarious deeds? Well. To be fair, Jim Carrey did play the Riddler in another Joel Schumacher film. Is it because they communicate with their alien overlords through numerals and the number 23 is the signal to attack? Or is it just that they like screwing with conspiracy theorists by giving them clues to point to that no sane person will listen to? No one's to know about it except the senior officers, scientists, and a single conspiracy not to no one will believe. <laughs> I'll put a penny in Dax's Futurama clip jar later. Well, that's all I really have to say about the number 23. Unlike 13, which has a long and storied history, the history of 23 doesn't really seem to predate the mid-50s. Makes you wonder if that's when people finally started to notice, because everyone from before, from that nebulous time known as the past, were ignorant savages who couldn't put two and three together. 
Or was it because the Shadow Master, who fell in love with that number, didn't come into prominence until that time? This has given me a lot to think about for the next year. Like, is there anything interesting I can say about 24 next time?